Okay, let's rock. Okay. Hello, everyone. We're rolling. Uh, welcome to the Advex Talks number three. Uh, my name is Bogdan, and uh, I'm the marketing manager for Advex. Uh, happy to see you all today. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the Magento PHP Strong plugin and uh, upgrade compatibility tool. Uh, and uh, I would like to give my word to uh, Alexander, who is the tech advisor at Advex. Alexander, the floor is yours. Oh, hello everyone. Thank you, Vagdan. I'm really happy and to be here and glad uh, just because this kind of event uh, is very interesting, thoughtful, informational, and informational full and uh, like beneficial for all of us. So today we will talk about the PHP Storm plugin, Magenta PHP Storm plugin and Adobe uh and upgrade compatibility tool sorry guys i'm a little bit nervous because i've been on such event uh, for a long period of time but yeah let's me just a couple of minutes <laughs> okay and yeah uh, the main goal of uh, our discussion today is to cover the very interesting story about uh, collaboration between the adobe team and community uh and uh, two very beneficial tools Upgrade compatibility to and uh, Magenta PHP Storm plugin. You know, in um, Ukraine, Magenta community, uh, from time to time, uh, we have very interesting and long term discussion. And several weeks ago, in the midnight, we discussed the uh, topic related uh, to the quality of uh, application uh, applications we develop uh, for the e commerce sphere. And uh, one of our member mentioned very interesting term, uh, the cost of a line of a code. Um, it um, relates not only to the estimated time for this line of a code, it also relates to the future uh, price of this line after several years. Uh, for example, you uh, wrote a line of a code which uh, doesn't suit uh, some best practice. It's uh, not uh, compatible with the latest version of the Magento or the Becords platform. Uh, and um, this line and the cost of this line will uh, increase significantly. And how to make the price of this line and quality on the same level through, year, through uh, years? And uh, we decided that the P Magenta PHP Storm plugin and uh, upgrade compatibility tool is the right choice uh, to achieve uh, this. And um, yeah, with this, I'm passing my word to the Adobe team. And guys, can you please start uh, your story about uh, this integration and about the upgrade compatibility tool? Thank you. Hi. Hi everybody, thanks Alexander. So my name is first Sandra Gonzalez and I'm product manager. So I've been working for Adobe for a long time, even before we were Adobe. And so I started in 2020 working with the upgrade compatibility tool. So basically the main, one of the main topics of this uh, session. And the, the, the goal, what we saw when we start um, working on the upgrade compatibility tool, what we identify, and actually we knew for a long time already, is this exactly what Alexander was just mentioning about the line code price. Uh, we don't refer to it to a line price, but basically to a whole the whole project price of upgrading, which is the total cost of ownership. So at the end, what we, what we identify is that the total cost of ownership for Adobe Commerce Magento at that time projects were too high. And the main reason that this was too high was related to upgrades. Uh, so we started discussing brainstorming and thinking, what can we do to make this cheaper basically and to make it faster and allow our customers to upgrade every time that we release a new version without being so painful. 
So we've done a lot of things and I'm sure you are well aware of a lot of them. Like we, we have now a, a new release strategy. We're trying to do less releases, uh, sl slimmer releases as well. So something that is lighter, only including these high priority fixes into the core and releasing the low priority ones through the quality budgets tool. So we've done a lot of changes uh, within our processes and within what we are trying to deliver as a product to our customers also. And the main uh, goal is this delivery of new independent features that are not part of the core. But together with that, at the end, we know that we still have the core and we're gonna have to live with the core for a long time. So how could we do this upgrade process even easier? And that's what when we start working on the upgrade compatibility tool. So we came up with the idea of having this tool that will help at least understand what an upgrade was uh, required in. So what was the scope of the upgrade? What was needed to be done? Uh, and then this information could be used for different uh, things. So one is to understand the scope, estimate, and planning. Planning at the end is key for grading. Also including budgeting, like budgeting uh, X uh, for upgrading during the year is critical to make sure that you have the, the time, the capacity, and the team available to actually deliver this upgrade. We started the, the, the project, the upgrade compatibility tool uh, with something that we believe it was simple, but it will allow us to deliver something fast to the market. And that's why we started with API validations. And then with over time, actually over the last year um, is where we start working on ad adding additional validations. And finally, uh, we got to a point where we saw, okay, now we are, we have a tool that is helpful. We know it still requires a lot of work, uh, but at least we have something. But it's something that is actually quite reactive. So before grading, you get the tool, you download it, you execute it, and then you see, oh, this is everything that I have to do. But how can we make this proactive and help our customers to prevent these issues to happen? So in this case, instead of waiting for the moment of the upgrade, uh, they could actually fix issues while they are developing new features. And that's how we came up with the idea of developing the PHP Storm plugin. So not developing the PHP Storm plugin, but integrating UCT within Magento PHP Storm plugin. So that's that's the whole background of, of the tool and also the, the integration with the, with the plugin. Yes, Andrew, before I tell you, sorry to interrupt you, before we continue, I want to mention that uh, the upgrade compatibility tool, the uh, idea uh, was um, very uh, like a highly desirable feature because we always think how to make uh, the right decision. I mean, architectural decision, decision in code, decision even one line in the code uh, for our projects to make them compatible with the best practices and latest version for a long time uh, and a long perspective. So yeah, it's very cool and we are waiting for it. Uh, yeah, that's, sorry. that's great to hear. Uh, we have to say that we've heard very good feedback. We've heard also some negative feedback. We cannot say that everything is perfect, we know. Uh, but we're working on uh, all this information and all these uh, suggestions and, and proposals that we're receiving. Uh, I'm just going to throw it there, but we have a Slack channel. And I think I'm just going to put it in the chat in a moment. But it's the great compatibility tool on my Gento Slack channel. And I think it's great if whoever is listening to this uh, session can join. And there you will be able to ask questions uh, and get recommendations and answers, not only from the community, but also from the team that is actually working on the tool. So it's a, a great uh, channel for, for communicating with us to make suggestions. And I'm, I'm always open and happy to receive suggestions because I think that's what, a, what is gonna make the tool even better. So this year our expectation is to get it to a point that it's 
very useful and that everybody wants to use it. So if you want to share ideas, just reach out either on Slack or email me. I'll share my, de my contact details later as well. I'm curious how many guys uh, did join the, uh, the Zoom call for actually working on upgrades and have tried using compatibility, upgrade compatibility tool before. Is there a way for a feedback like adding plus to the chat if you, you have can probably launch the rice 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 your hands or rice your hand. <laughs> just yeah. keep it I mean, simple as possible while you're deciding i will introduce myself my name is sergey sergey vashenka and i'm based in dublin i work as a tech lead for adobe uh, so leading the upgrade compatibility tool development uh, but yeah originally i'm from ukraine as you can tell based on my name and uh, yeah i would like to say alexander uh, really interesting topics are discussed at midnight in ukrainian magenta community and i'm really miss <laughs> missing those discussions <laughs> uh, we simply can invite you to our discussions in the midnight <laughs> <laughs> okay cool stuff so i can see that not so, so there was one hand and probably that was traced by you alexander did I miss something? No, so I would like to maybe introduce you to upgrade compatibility tool just for you to understand what we are talking about for, uh, further. So uh, so, before, let yeah. me, oh, sorry, I'm interrupting you, but I want to feel free to ask any questions on the chat so we can try to answer them while whoever is speaking is speaking. If not, we can just ask the questions when we finish or, or any break that we have. So feel free to, yeah, to share your ideas. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good point, Sandra. So upgrade compatibility tool is a command line tool that uh, can be executed against the customized Magento project, a customized Adobe Commerce project, and uh, show all the compatibility issues again uh, of this project that needs to be fixed before upgrading to uh, one of the future, like to some target, any target version of your choice of Adobe Commerce. So I think it will be easier if I will just share my screen really quickly and show you the execution of the tool while explaining. Let me, oh, I like to share whole desktop. Uh, it works better. Can you see my terminal window right now? Yes. So this is basically an upgrade compatibility tool, simplest execution on a custom project. So I have downloaded the upgrade compatibility tool, by the way, that is, uh, the tool is available, the tool itself is available only for, uh, if you have Adobe Commerce keys for a composer, uh, you can install it as a composer project, and then you can basically execute the bin ct command. There are several commands, but the most important of them is upgrade check that uh, uh, has one argument that is a pass to custom project. And uh, I have used one option here to specify the version I would like to check uh, the compatibility with. In this case, it's 244 beta 4, because 244 J was not yet released, but you can, you can compare it with betas. And uh, the tool is indexing the project, analyzing all the modules, and then for each module, it displays all the issues that might need to be uh, uh, fixed. For example, there is warning when the, uh, some piece of code, like an interface class method is deprecated, that, that is the warning like low level message because deprecated doesn't mean the code is not usable. It's still there, but it will be removed soon. And there are higher level errors, uh, like the error for the code that is not that was used and that is not an API. The issue we are uh, we don't recommend using code that is not relying on the code that is not an API because this the changes to this code and the changes to the behavior of it is not tracked. 
So that can change, be changed from release to release, and that can result in a bricky change of customization. And you will see critical errors if uh, your code, your custom project code is referencing some, something that was deleted, that is not present, that is removed. Uh, sure, this, all, this comparison is done to, with the version of, uh, the best feature version of your choice. You can compare it with 2.4.4 or any previous version starting from 2.3.0. And then you have some uh, short summary with the so current version of the project in this case is 2.3.5.p2. I have checked the compatibility with 2.4.4 beta 4. It took three minutes to, uh, to process the project and uh, like 52 modules out of 56 require update. Some 40% of files have some issues of different levels. And uh, there was only 99 critical issues. So 99 references to the code that doesn't exist that definitely needs to be fixed. And errors and errors uh, are mostly the issues uh, where the code is referenced and non-API core code that might have a problem but uh, that's not for sure and warnings are something to consider for future. The tool also provides the report in JSON format for integrations. For example, it's, uh, it's a, it may be a good idea to integrate the tool into CI CD. Considering that there are lots of options for filtering the output, you can, for example, uh, uh, rely on no critical issues in your project and that will be much easier than trying to fix any non-API usage or any deprecated usages, for example. And there is also HTML report generated here that is like a, bit, a little bit better representation. Actually, I have already opened it uh, in my browser window. So we can see the same summary as we had in the command line. And by the way, this uh, HTML page is self-sufficient, so everything that is used in the page is uh, contained within one file, so it's easy to send it via email, like share it, uh, communicate about the estimation of upgrade based on the upgrade compatibility tool results, uh, evaluation or discuss uh, the estimates for the project. Here you can see some diagrams with uh, like 30% of the modules have critical issues. Uh, other, like biggest part of the module doesn't have critical issues, but have issues of different levels. The same uh, division by files. And then uh, uh, like another diagram displaying uh, amount of compatibility issues per modules on the 10, uh, uh, let's call it leading modules by the number of issues are displayed here. And there is another sophisticated diagram that displays the uh, displays all customizations on the project, the size of the bubble. So basically, they are divided by vendor first. But then, if you if you click uh, on the bubble, you will see all the modules of this vendor, and uh, the size of the bubble is the size of the module actually, and the color of the bubble is how compatible or incompatible this module is. In this case, you can see that the biggest problem, the most problems are Amas defeat. Uh, Abyss charge, uh, Abyss charge, <laughs> and uh, classy Lama modules. And underneath, uh, there are details on uh, all the modules with the number of issues for each module. And if you would like to see the details, you can go inside and see the issues for each file with the exact problem uh, specified for the file and the line. So that's a short introduction. And I guess you may have some questions at this point. And when, so, when we get the questions, Sergey, I just want to highlight a few things. So first, like 
you saw on both reports, uh, well, on the three type of reports that we have, we always have uh, an error code and a short description. We have on DevDocs, well, now on Experience Leak on our documentation, a table of reference for each error type, error, I mean, error warning or critical issues. And each error code is, is described, it has a, its own description and the suggestion to actually how, how to fix that, uh, that issue. That on one end. On the other end, I, I want to highlight that uh, this HTML report was a project that the team did during the garage week last, last year, end of last year. So it was kind of a hackathon that we have. Uh, I was not expecting uh, something as good as what we got. So it, it is amazing. So the team have done a terrific job. It definitely exceeded my expectations and everyone's expectations. It might not be so interesting for engineers because you are very clever, but for people like me that we want to see something visual and make it very easy and we can share it with other people, with customers or with different uh, people within the company, it's, it's great. And actually um, we've gone a little bit further and Three, four weeks ago, we work also with the SWAT team and we are integrating UCT with SWAT. So basically we're giving the opportunity for any admin user with uh, access to SWAT to be able to run UCT and to get this report, this HTML report, where we will be, they will be able to have all this information. So the idea of this integration is first to make it easier for other type of users to use the tool. Um, it's gonna be easy to understand as you saw the report is very clean. We are also planning to review it, get feedback and probably, uh, and, probably not, and improve the report because even though it's great, uh, we know that it can always be better. And then at the end, this can be used for these other type of uh, users to understand what needs to be done to, uh, to upgrade, uh, estimate the upgrade, review uh, with other teams how to plan budget and, and basically make sure that the, the, the team is ready to, to work on the upgrade whenever uh, it's decided to be done. So I just wanted to highlight that. Yeah, Sandra, thank you so much for those uh, very important details. We have several questions in our chat, and before we will start talking about the Magenta PHP Storm for Demo integration and passing word to Bogdan and Sergey, Sergey, as engineers, I want to uh, underline importance of this uh, tool uh, for the high quality development process and high quality um, solutions. You see that. Uh, um, development application for e-commerce sphere is something not only about the co um, codes and architecture principles, principles, pattern and so on. It's also about business. And uh, if your solution uh, is, um, you, you can name your solution is high quality solution and uh, followed best practices and uh, has uh, um, really a high benefit uh, for the business only when you covered uh, not only technical part, but also management part and business part. Uh, with the upgrade compatibility tool, from my personal um, point of view, you have um, access uh, to the powerful tool with the visualization, which is also important uh, during the um, business growth process. And uh, this visualization uh, brings you a lot of uh, information about the current state of your project and help you to understand where you go, where you are, uh, and where you will be uh, with the current um, way of deployment, of development, of business advancements, and so on and so on. So this is a great aggregation of what you have done, what you do, and what you will and should do with your project in order to uh, achieve um, some new business results and be ready to the new phase of uh, business development. Yes, and guys, uh, please uh, tell some tell the story about the PHP Storm plugin integration and uh, the upgrade compatibility tool. Let me take a chance to answer the questions. 
just not to forget <laughs> about them as then. So, uh, yeah, thanks for question. Uh, th thanks for your questions. I can see two in the chat. The first one is uh, uh, that checking only PHP files, so PHTML, JS as well. So, and and the second one, they still use prepared rules for validation. I decided to read both of them because I think answering the first will give the grounds for answering. Answering the second will give the grounds for answering the first question. So this tool is based how it works under the hood. It's based on the index of uh, code references of each Magento version. So basically, the tool has built in index of uh, each Adobe Commerce version. It can identify if the class or method or constant or property or uh, whatever is present in a specific version. Is it API? Is it deprecated? Uh, or, or it's not present? And when the tool is analyzing the project, it uh, extracts all references to Adobe Commerce, to Magento modules and, and bundled extensions, Magento bundled extensions and vendor bundled extensions, uh, cloud modules. So basically all modules that are included with the, with the core and checks if this reference that can be property, constant, class, interface, whatever, is present in the version you specified. Uh, so that is the basis of upgrade compatibility tool. Uh, so that is kind of, uh, you cannot call it rule, prepared rules for validation. However, on top of that, we are using additional checks that are covering some security, uh, covering some specific compatibility issues and also considering that 244 is going to support php 81 we are uh, in we have included php 81 compatibility validation within the upgrade compatibility tool and all these checks are actually coming from uh, magento coding standard project i hope you are familiar with this project this public repository actively developed by the community that is basically a storage of rules for PHP code sniffer. So the main comparison based on index is running in UCT, and then on top of that, uh, selected checks from Magento Coding Standard repository are executed as well. By the way, if you would like to improve upgrade compatibility tool and add your checks or correct them, you can do this through the Magento Coding Standard repository. And so returning back to the file types, currently upgrade compatibility tool uh, main analysis that is based on the index is checking only PHP file. However, we have uh, only PHP files. We have, uh, we have the idea to enable PHTML files checking uh, in our backlog. So that's a matter of priority. However, uh, Talking about PHP Storm functionality, so the similar or let's say almost the same uh, types of check are present in the PHP Storm plugin now that we'll talk in details later. So PHP Storm plugin is doing a little bit more in checking PHTML files as well, basically PHP in any types of files. It's talking about UC, back to UCT, upgrade compatibility tool has some static checks that are based on PHP code sniffer and coming from Magento coding standard that are checking PHTML and JS files and also XML files and uh, and even GraphQL files, if I no, maybe not, maybe not GraphQL. But anyway, it's uh, so the extensibility through Magento coding standards all, allows to have specific checks for uh, any types of files and uh, uh, that wasn't done for the previous versions, probably, but for future versions, our I, uh, uh, so our vision is we would like to add uh, whenever there is a break and change uh, that uh, may not be easily detected and can be covered by the static test, we would like to add it to much antiquated standards, and that will be included in uh, UCT check, no matter what the type of the file is. Maybe the main uh, maybe the main uh, functionality, the main analysis will be enabled for PHTML files. Not 100% sure at this point. Hope that answers the question. 
And, and you can answer the next one if you want, Sergi. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Roman asked why the upgrade compatibility tool is only available for Adobe Commerce merchants and not for open source. So this is something that originally the tool was developed thinking on Adobe Commerce customers in mind. Last year we we thought why are we why don't we open it and make it open source and and leave it available for everybody but it was a business decision. So so far at the moment uh, the plan is to keep it only for Adobe Commerce customers. And uh, I don't know if potentially in the future that might change, but for now that's that's the that's the plan. Thank you guys for your answers. And uh, let's start talk about the Magenta Beach Piston plugin and some great compatibility tool integration. This is very important and interesting topic for today. So please tell the story about the idea of this integration and how you implemented it. Because, uh, you know, this is a great example of uh, cooperation between uh, company and uh, community. So we are all our ears to hear your story. Please start. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try to share one slide. I'm not gonna, I don't want to just show you a bunch of slides but i think it's i think it's this as you mentioned this is a, a great example of collaboration with in this case with adwix so let me just make it visual okay so yeah uh, as i mentioned before the uh, the goal of the upgrade compatibility tool is and has been from the very beginning to reduce the upgrade time and at the end the effort that is re required to upgrade a project, an Adobe Commerce project, to the latest release version. And basically, reducing the upgrade cost will result in lower upgrade cost and lower TCO total cost of ownership. And as I also mentioned before, then we thought, OK, how can we make this even better? And instead of just waiting for this final moment to uh, upgrade, prevent these issues proactively. And that's when we came up with the idea of integrating the, the Magento Peach Piston plugin with UCT. Talking about this, we thought at the beginning of doing this within the Iberian Links team, that that's the team that works for UCT um, within Adobe. Unfortunately, as you know, we never have enough time to do everything that we wanted, that we want to do. Uh, time and teams capacity is uh, the main limitation for I think everybody and more in this very super fast world that we're living and uh, so I'm, I'm, I don't remember exactly who proposed it I think it might have been you Sergi or Olena who said uh, let's try to get this done by uh, Adwix or by our by the community and that's when we start talking with you guys and we I got to meet uh, Bogdan, which it was incredible. So thanks to you, Bogdan, because uh, we kind of defined the, the requirements. And probably, Sergio, you want to talk more about this, because you were actually the one that worked closely with Bogdan uh, to, to get this done. But to me, it was like, we have like some high level ideas and requirements of what we wanted to do. Then Sergi led the definition of how we wanted to implement it and work together with Bogdan. And then a few weeks later, it was done. So <laughs> to be honest, to me, it was very surprising because I was expecting this to be slow and to take time. And, and I have to say that working with you guys was uh, incredible. So uh, thank you very much for that. And I'm gonna leave you, Sergi, probably to add more details into into this piece because you were working very closely with with Bogdan. Yeah, yeah. At this at that point when uh, we uh, needed somebody to help us with the idea, fortunately, I knew a a really great person and uh, super uh, software engineer and the lead of uh, PHP Storm plugin, Bogdan, and uh, that's. Uh, the, uh, that's a really co uh, cool, let's say, uh, that resulted in a really cool collaboration. And for me, that was also uh, kind of a magic. We have defined the goals. 
then uh, we had a couple of meetings to discuss them. And then Bogdan said, oh, I already finished everything. Everything is done. It looks like that uh, working with PHP, uh, like working on the PHP Storm plug plugin project is cool thing. And the results are cool as well. Because when I first, when we first seen the implementation of upgrade compatibility tool of something that was command line before in the PHP storm uh, in, in the real interface, that is the whole new level, much more comfortable to use, uh, much more awesome. Bogdan, do you remember this like beginning of the project? What were? Uh, yes. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Bogdan. Uh, I work as a Magento developer at Artix, uh, and uh, for about two years, I have been participating in the PHP Storm plugin development. At the time, uh, when Sergey asked uh, if I could integrate the ECT into the plugin, uh, I didn't know much about uh, the ECT itself. Uh, I heard about that, but I didn't use it uh, before. So Sergey uh, presented for me uh, how it is working and uh, shared uh, his expectations expectations uh, from this integration. Of course, uh, I needed some time to investigate uh, the IntelliJ IDEA SDK and uh, how it can uh, help me to implement uh, what I was asked for. So for a few days or maybe more than one week, I uh, have looked at it uh, and investigated uh, uh, how it can be done from my side and uh, if it uh, can be implemented uh, all this scope uh, can be implemented in uh, the HP Storm plugin. And after that, uh, yes, uh, we had a few meetings. And uh, after each of uh, each meeting, uh, I asked uh, some questions and uh, Sergey shared uh, his ideas how it can be uh, done uh, on the higher architectural layer, maybe, uh, because some of uh, these uh, like tasks um, Maybe I didn't understand uh, uh, at the time of the first meeting, and uh, Sergei uh, explained uh, in more details how it uh, uh, was done uh, at the UCT side. Uh, some of uh, those ideas uh, uh, I uh, have implemented in the PHP Storm plugin uh, because it was uh, really cool <laughs> things and uh, uh, really cool. Uh, decisions uh, was made uh, in that. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, it uh, took uh, for us uh, about uh, two months, maybe a little bit more, to implement the uh, whole uh, scope of uh, what we have now. And uh, it was a really cool collaboration for me too. And. Uh, I want to underline uh, the difference between uh, PHP Storm plugin integration uh, with UCT and the uh, UCT itself. Um, it is uh, the PHP Storm uh, plugin integration more like uh, for developers. Uh, as for example, uh, I'm using it now uh, during the development uh, because I can see uh, in the time uh, of uh, code's writing uh, what is uh, wrong uh, with my decisions is like uh, for example i can uh, forget about uh, some interfaces and use uh, some uh, implementation of uh, of it uh, instead of uh, interface and it is wrong and uh, it is very hard to um, to see uh, during the code review and uh, it can be helpful <laughs> during the development process or uh, during the upgrade uh, of uh, it of the magento by developers uh, but uh, it cannot be used uh, like for uh, high level uh, analysis uh, for maybe product owner or magenta store owner uh, because uh, there is a very small amount of uh, everything that is implemented in the original ECT uh, CLI tool and uh, its report uh, really um, far away from uh, that one. Uh, that uh, show, shown in the PHP Storm plugin. Uh, so yes, it can be useful for everyone, even not uh, for uh, upgrade, but uh, during upgrade it's too useful, but only for developers. 
Uh, as for it, it, it's my thoughts, I don't know if maybe Sergei, uh, you can share uh, your uh, vision about this. No, I totally agree with you. So the uh, compatibility checks that have been uh, introduced to PHP Storm plugin uh, help to provide quality and compatible core from the beginning. Right, and also it, it, uh, they help to uh, refactor, uh, work on the refactoring of uh, uh, projects of older versions to make sure they are slowly becoming compatible or just making them compatible with the newer versions. It's uh, really beneficial to use uh, this functionality in PHP Storm plugin, even if uh, the goal is not to upgrade at the moment, but just you are working on the project of older version, you will see which problems you will have in the future because sooner or later you know that all the projects will need to be upgraded anyway and upgrade compatibility tool because it's uh, it's a command line tool it has a little bit uh, more reporting it has uh, some additional uh, features options and it's it's a little bit different nature right while, while the the compatibility checks in PHP Storm plugin are really cool because they are doing their check, their analysis in the runtime. UCT is kind of uh, on demand tool. You have to execute it, you get the report, then you can uh, work with, with the report, with the results of the tool. So, yeah, PHP Storm plugin upgrade compatibility checks are for developers, and upgrade compatibility tool are, is more for. Uh, system integrators, solution architects, uh, whoever, uh, maybe for uh, CI/CD integration, like you can run this uh, upgrade compatibility tool on the builds, uh, and for whoever takes uh, uh, creates the tech technical approach, tech design for upgrades, evaluates and estimates the upgrade, and maybe tracks it. Uh, and uh, uh, like basically executes, controls the execution of the uh, preparation for the upgrade process. That's my point of view. Yeah, that's a good uh, thing for, from Sandra. Let's uh, actually, uh, once again, the question who, that's, that question will be, will probably have more votes. Uh, have, are you using PHP Storm plugin? Do you have PHP, Magento PHP Storm plugin installed in your PHP Storm at the moment. So, yeah. Well, if you don't uh, and you're working with Adobe Commerce with Magento, you definitely need to install it and explore its uh, functionality because upgrade compatibility tool is just one uh, it's really important, really valuable, but one small part of the functionality of the plugin contains just lots of useful stuff. Uh, yes, and, uh, oh, sorry, Sergey. And I also want to underline one point that uh, using the P uh, Magento PHP Storm plugin, let's call it the PHP St plugin, it's much easier. And the upgrade compatibility tool is not only, uh, as Bogdan mentioned, for developers and uh, for the team itself and for the company, because with the help of those tools, you can standardize uh, the, um, your work in a company and uh, be sure that uh, a lot of things can be done uh, in a similar way in the different um, teams, companies, and organization, and so on. And you will deliver the same um, quality of your solution. It's very important if you want to reach uh, positive results uh, in, a chart when you, in a chart when you will analyze your year monthly uh, growing process. And, and I want to uh, send to our chat uh, to uh, examples from the PHP Storm uh, plugin repository. And uh, those examples uh, for the first one, the pull request, uh, and uh, the second one uh, is related. Uh, and I want you all to check when you will have time how beautiful they are and how Bogdan uh, described everything from the highest. Uh, Side of quality, and you can see that uh, this also reflects um, 
their attitude to work and attitude to community. Because when you open those pull requests and issues, you will see that uh, it contains a mindful description, they contain uh, email diagrams, they contain uh, everything. And uh, this is very important because when you work uh, on a task, let's say it, let's call task everything. So we create a new plugin uh, feature, create, uh, I don't know, just some extension for your business and so on. You should be focused not only with the code, but on the process. And with a well-organized and described task, you will be able to analyze your progress in a retrospective way. And uh, this is a really good example. Please try to do the same thing on your projects. And many thanks to Bogdan to implement this and Sergey and the whole Adobe team. Uh, the floor is yours, guys. Please continue. Also, I have a question. Uh, what uh, do you think will be next included uh, or maybe to this integration or how you plan to extend it? Maybe you have some insights. Let me really quickly show what we are talking about just to have uh, our audience on the same page, uh, just for them to, easy, to have a better uh, understanding of uh, the future steps that we will be discussing. What do you think about that? Just okay. a quick... Okay, let's do A quick demo. So sharing my screen once again, sharing my desktop. Yeah, okay, guys, so here, just for you to understand what we are talking about, here I have a PHP storm uh, that, e, uh, and in this PHP storm, I have the customized 237 Enterprise Edition project opened. And uh, there is just one, there, there are a couple of custom modules, right? We will take a look on this one. This is a basically test module that I have created with test class and a couple of references. So here is a review summary, for example, that is uh, deprecated on version 2.4.3. Uh, and, uh, and that's why it's highlight, highlighted and crossed. And that is a functionality of uh, upgrade compatibility checks in PHP Storm plugin. So basically, in this project, if I'll navigate to review summary, you'll see it's that it, the class is not deprecated in your code base. So you you will, will not know that this class is deprecated unless you will have some insight into the future with uh, the upgrade compatibility tool functionality in the PHP Storm plugin. Some class uh, is not marked as API, like Magenta CMS module block. And uh, actually, right now, the compatibility check is configured. Uh, let me open the configuration to analyze the compatibilities with version 243. But we can try to increase this version to 244 beta 4 just to see uh, what's coming in the new release that will is going to be available shortly. And if we switch to this version for PHP Storm to update the index, we need to modify the file somehow. Start the remove space, for example. And now you see that uh, somehow Magento Framework Search Request Query Match class is red. And you can see that this class was removed in 244 beta 4 version even though this class is definitely present in the system now and it, it is API. Well, we are uh, in, in Adobe Commerce, we really hate removing or updating API classes. But in this case, uh, yeah, the class is not present on 244. Uh, it had to be done because much is a reserved board, reserved, uh, board in PHP 8.1. So we cannot keep the class name the same way. The class was renamed to uh, too much uh, query as far as I remember. So, and uh, well, this is all an, uh, this is all running based on the inspections. Inspections. If you go to, oh, I have everything open. If you go to preferences, editor inspections, there are lots of, uh, Lots of useful inspections here. If you are using PHP Storm plugin, I recommend you to uh, review what inspections are enabled uh, 
uh, for you from time to time. There are also lots of other plugins that are delivering additional inspections. And the Magento uh, PHP Storm plugin, apart from others, is introducing the UCT inspections here that are related to compatibility. And all of them, uh, like all the checks can be reviewed here. So there is a bunch of checks for API uh, usage when they will highlight the code references that are not API on the future version that is configured in the compatibility configuration. Uh, deprecation, like all usage of all the deprecated code references and uh, for sure usage of non-existent code references. Uh, in addition to just viewing the uh, issues as you type, you can execute these inspections uh, as usual using inspect code for a directory or the whole project. Uh, here I have non, not default inspection profile, but just UCT checks so that we don't have uh, any additional issues and see, uh, see the results uh, as you would see the results for any other inspections. And if you really like the format of uh, the original update compatibility tool, you can use tools, run the upgrade compatibility tool option that will, uh, that will display the output in the format like the original upgrade compatibility tool would. And uh, additional bonus that was also included in the PHP Storm plugin is run configuration. So if you, if you would like to execute the original command line and great compatibility tool on your project. And if you are doing this frequently, you can just create a run configuration for it. When creating this run configuration, it will uh, just provide you an option to download the great compatibility tool right from this window and install it to your project. Uh, then, uh, you can configure all the options here. I don't th think we will just describe them in details, but you can review them. And yeah, if some options, if you will uh, go into it and try to configure it, use different options, and some options will not be clear to you. Well, Magento Open Source Slack upgrade compatibility tool channel uh, is a place where everything can be explained at all times. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's that the functionality, Bogdan. Did, did I forgot anything here? Uh, do no. you have anything to add? Uh, no, actually, I uh, think you mentioned it most of uh, this, those features. Mm, I guess all of them. Uh, I sh should remember about uh, is rerun configuration. It is available only for Adobe Commerce because if you uh, don't have a case, uh, for your commerce edition, you can uh, download or run this uh, uh, one. So uh, it is only Adobe Commerce. Yeah, and uh, all other features yes. are available for everyone. Yes, like yes. PHP Storm plugin is, not, is uh, open source. Uh, and uh, one of uh, very cool features is you can navigate uh, from the uh, UCT analysis uh, run uh, to the files. Uh, and uh, right uh, from the terminal. And also you can navigate uh, to the JSON report. And uh, I guess it is all about uh, those features. Yeah, good one. The, here is a format of JSON report, by the way. It is, uh, it is, containing the same information that is displayed on the screen, the screen, including the summary, but in JSON format. And so, as you mentioned before, we can easily use it in our uh, deployment uh, integration, right? For example, uh, just to validate uh, the quality of delivered solution. Uh, it is more like about uh, UCT uh, CLI tool. Uh, you can also do this with PHP Storm uh, integration. Uh, but uh, you can use uh, this report uh, to check uh, if uh, something was uh, fixed. Uh, it's like uh, all reports are stored uh, in the .edu directory. Uh, so you can uh, 
change uh, refactor some code and after that you can run this uh, uh, UCT inspection and uh, check if uh, there is uh, there are less uh, errors maybe critical errors or warnings in uh, the code base that you were inspect inspected yeah, it's very nice because with this we can organize uh, two levels of code quality and solution quality checks. For example, the first one, developer uses uh, the PHP Storm plugin, and the second one, during uh, deployment or maybe even pull request uh, creation, we can run upgrade compatibility tool and check uh, whether our integration uh, is compatible with the desired version of Magenta and best practices or not. From my point of view, it's very beneficial because with this we reduce uh, the price uh, uh, of a line of a code uh, what we start uh, our meeting so yeah very 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 nice and guys what plans do you have for future because i see really great um, potential in this integration and uh, cooperation between uh, the community and adobe company so what do you think about future so I can tell you for the great compatibility tool, our goal right now is to stabilize the, the tool. So at the moment we have identified, unfortunately that we were keeping like too many false positives. So that's something that we we are working on. We've been work, we start working on this last at the end of last year and we'll continue working on that. So we also wanted to implement the search you mentioned previously, uh, some validations uh, to help with uh, PHP upgrade, so basically with the compatibility and PHP 8.1. And then our plans is also to implement additional validations. Uh, we still have to agree on which uh, should be the next validations to be implemented. We have some ideas, but still not 100% defined. So that's something that we have to work on in the next month or two. And then also uh, as next step, it will be also uh, potentially uh, working on improvements on the new HTML report. That those are like the ideas that we're, we're planning for this year. Nice, really nice. And I have two questions. The first one, uh, how can we use uh, the upgrade compatibility tool and uh, also its integration with the PHP Storm plugin for case when we need to upgrade from the Magento open source to the Adobe uh, Commerce version? That's a great question. Yes. I can take that. <laughs> yeah, I think Sergi, yes, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when upgrading from uh, Magento open source to Commerce version, the compatibility question is actual only if you are at the same time upgrading to the highest version, right? So if you are upgrading from uh, Commerce 237, for example, to Enterprise Edition 2, uh, 244, you can use the upgrade compatibility tool the same way as uh, you're upgrading from Commerce to Commerce or open source to open source, or whatever. So the, uh, the thing, the situation in which upgrade compatibility tool is useful is when you are changing the version like higher. If you are switching from open source to commerce, uh, it's I, I I could I couldn't probably analyze that kind of switch. Uh, what how exactly you can use upgrade compatibility tool and what what the value of it would be for you if you are switching on the same version probably not too much and probably shouldn't have too many issues switching from open source to commerce unless uh, unless uh, there are some really nasty customizations yeah that's my that's my opinion uh, and really nasty customizations by the way will be outlined by a great compatibility tool because it will show you all the models using non-api and stuff like that yeah that's how i want to add uh, also you can use uh, the ust even uh, without uh, intention to upgrade uh, your code base because uh, it can uh, show uh, some code quality problems of your current installation uh, it's like uh, you can be on the Magento 2.3.5 uh, 
maybe, but uh, the code quality can be a little bit uh, poor or not uh, uh, based on best practices of Magento development, or it can be on the lat latest version of Magento, but uh, it also can, your code base uh, can be uh, not uh, written uh, with uh, the best practices uh, in mind. Uh, so you can use it even uh, to uh, make your code base uh, better and uh, and it is useful for that. Yeah, great, great answer. Thank you. And uh, with your answers, we just proved the idea that the upgrade compatibility tool integration uh, with the PHP Storm plug, it's not only about the code, it's about the business also, because you can uh, make the upgrade process or the process of maintenance much easier and cheaper for the final clients. And I have another question. Uh, what about the security? Can we somehow in future maybe integrate uh, the upgrade compatibility tool and speech piston plugin with their uh, security report uh, from the Adobe? It, because security is also very important and valuable part of uh, business. Yeah, definitely security is one of the, actually the main reasons for creating. So making sure that your store is secure and BCI compliance is the number one reason. Uh, we don't have plans at the moment to integrate with uh, the security scan tool. So it is available. I know that the security scan tool is planned to, it's actually in progress to integrate also with SWAT, uh, but not with mm -hmm. UCT. Yeah, the, 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 the goals of, those two tools, it's different. So we don't see it at the moment, how to make it together. Okay, nice, thank you. It's also very important to know for, the, for our audience and for people and how we can yield their products and packages from the uh, Adobe company. But yeah, maybe in future, this integration will be a good project for the community <laughs> and just for the PHP Storm plugin. Uh, and, you know, just I've recently received several questions. They, from my point of view, they were interesting. The first one uh, relates to the Magento marketplace, let's call it like this. So um, do you use the upgrade compatibility tool at the marketplace? Uh, to validate uh, the quality of the provided solution and their compatibility with their um, supported versions of Magento. That's also in progress. So we've been trying to get this uh, since last year. So we've been fighting with it for this for a long time. Unfortunately, it goes uh, again back to the capacity and resources. So the marketplace team has a lot of things to do. Uh, but yes, the plan is uh, to integrate and it's far. So they start working on it. I don't really know exactly when they're planning to have this done, but the idea is to first show this information to extensions owners for them to be able to understand what's the complexity of their extensions uh, taking into account upgrades, not only security, quality, and other uh, variables that they validate during their automatic checks, but also to introduce the, the results of UCT. What we have originally last year, we were planning actually to show kind of uh, this complexity score related to up upgradeability score within marketplace on the extensions pages. Uh, finally, we decided not to do so. So this is some is this information that is going to be for the extensions owner. The main reason why we decided to do this is because of the new, well, we have a few months with it already, but the, the new co uh, compatibility policy on Marketplace, where a uh, Marketplace is asking extensions owners to upgrade their extensions to the latest uh, release version within 30 days. So for the end user, this is great because at the end they don't care uh, what the extensions owners do, they just know that all extensions within Marketplace are compatible with the latest version of Adobe Commerce. But for the extensions owners, then it's more important because this is going to help them to keep their extensions up to date. Yeah, thank you. So um, this answer is brilliant because it shows that the company, I mean, Adobe company just cares about the quality and about the comfort, not only the client, but the developers. And from my point of view, this section you added uh, in the 2021, 
and to the marketplace where you are underlying the quality of the solution is just incredible because you can see what you will use and also the vendors will see what we need to improve. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, another question for Bogdan and Sergey, uh, uh, mostly for Bogdan. Uh, can you please um, explain how to start contribute to the PHP Storm plugin easily? Because uh, uh, the majority of our audience is Magenta uh, developers and PHP uh, oriented, yes, in their daily routine. So how we can easily start to deliver something to PHP Storm plugin and where we can find uh, useful information about it. I guess uh, the best place to start, it is uh, PHP Storm plugin uh, repository. Uh, it is open and uh, everyone can look at it. Uh, there is uh, very useful information uh, about the starting contribution in the readme file uh, in the root of uh, this project. Uh, there is uh, there are everything uh, that any contributor can uh, uh, can be requested from like me. Uh, they can just read and uh, try to install the IntelliJ idea uh, itself and uh, can try to uh, it's like take some issues and uh, if. Uh, uh they would have uh, some questions they can reach me or uh, anybody uh, who con who are contributing uh constantly in the plugin so i guess it is not a problem <coughs> to start we are waiting for everyone because uh, there are a lot of plans uh in the for the future releases and uh, to uh, we, we have no time to uh, do all of those uh, tasks uh, for just, uh, we have just a few uh, active contributors and uh, it is very hard for us to uh, develop uh, everything that we want to develop uh, fast. So <laughs> I guess everyone uh, want to have um, the latest possible quality solutions uh, in their hands and uh, to have this you just need to make it uh, by yourself uh, we are happy to ha to help you with this uh, so uh, it would be great if uh, you would have more contributors it is it is not hard to uh, start contrib contributing into the php storm plugin uh, because of java S someone can uh, uh, be afraid of it, but uh, PHP uh, programming language uh, uh, has uh, have uh, very uh, common uh, with uh, Java itself because uh, it is like uh, constantly copying uh, Java uh, Java programming syntax. Maybe I don't know how to explain this. Uh, it, it it is uh, there. Are, very little differences between uh, between those languages uh, on the high level, uh, but some internal things you will uh, <coughs> understand in the process of contribution. And uh, there are a lot of maintainers that support this uh, plugin uh, more than contributors, actually. Uh, so if, uh, uh, there are a lot of people that can uh, help you with uh, learning Java. Uh, programming language and uh, learning uh, IntelliJ IDEA uh, SDK, SDK and uh, the PHP Storm plugin uh, architecture, architecture maybe uh, how we uh, done all of those things in integrated uh, into the Magento to PHP Storm plugin. So uh, don't be afraid uh, to start contributing because <laughs> Everyone can uh, make it better, uh, make uh, your experience better. And uh, also, we are expecting a lot of ideas from the community uh, because uh, the best ideas uh, come from community. And uh, it would be great to hear your opinion about uh, 
uh, what we uh, should do next. Yes, it is all from my side. Uh, thank you so much for your answer. Uh, yeah, and uh, oh, guys, sorry, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, so I, I, as usual, I don't. <laughs> Uh, problem with my internet connection, but yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, Bogdan, thank you for this uh, complete and very detailed uh, answer. Uh, and I want to add that the factor, fact, factory is the factory in uh, uh, all programming languages. So yeah, you are totally right. So if you follow the best practices and solid and keys and what you want to follow, um, you will create the same quality solution um, using Java, PHP, or any kind of programming languages. Yeah, thank you. Sergey. Uh, um, uh -huh. My God, there are so many benefits to uh, contributing to uh, PHP Storm plugin. You can, there is an opportunity to learn a new language if you are not familiar with Java anymore. There is one that Vitaly Boyko shared in the chat. Uh, uh, that's too long for me to read, but <laughs> I guess you can, you can read that you are getting a uh, free license, I guess, right? And uh, also, like, considering the how issues and pull requests are described, uh, this, considering the example that uh, Alexander, you have shared in chat uh, some time ago, like having so, so, so well described, uh, backlog of the it's really rare on the project uh, on the open source project uh, and it's really good if you are a beginner contributor to this project or uh, like first time contributor in general uh, good description and uh, help of uh, awesome maintainers on the project the, like all the all the maintainers are really cool guys uh, as a developers and personally uh, i think that will be that will be an amazing experience. Also, I would like to say that PHP Storm plugin is a very unique uh, project. That's uh, the only project in uh, Magento that is in Magento organization, right? That is driven completely by the community. So starting from the backlog preparation and up to the release, uh, Adobe is not participating uh, at all in, in this. So everything is. Uh, from from scratch and up to like the functionality that, can, that you can see in PHP Storm ID is created by open source contributors, maintainers, and uh, that is awesome. That is true, uh, true open source. And yeah. uh, I would really recommend you to try try to participate in in the and have this experience and uh, see how it is to be a contributor in the true open source project. Yeah, Sergey, thank you so much. And uh, you know that uh, our conversation uh, now has Vitaly Boykran. Vitaly, if you uh, do not have any kind of problems with internet connection, and if it's possible, maybe you will join uh, our discussion and uh, say something about the plugin because Vitaly Boyka is the one of the greatest person in the community and uh, the one who just resurrect uh, the idea of um, the plugin and integration with the uh, IntelliJ idea. Vitaly, can you join us? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Hello, everyone. And thank you for such a recognition. Uh, yeah, Lloyd. Um, but I'm just an observer today. I uh, have a little uh, pause with development and uh, looking forward to join your squad once again soon. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, great, great, great. We're waiting for you, and uh, really nice that you joined today's our today's uh, discussion, and we are looking forward to hear and see new ideas and contributions from your side. We really appreciate the effort you uh, deliver it to the community and uh, especially to the PHP Storm plugin. I remember how we started this and how you uh, just encourage everyone and you drive this uh, project uh, forward. And uh, yeah, thank you so much from all of us because now we can use really uh, nice uh, beneficial tool which saves our time and resources. 
uh, one day Vitaly mentioned that uh, I want to create a plugin easily from one click and uh, I do not want to uh, just uh, waste my time on this. And Vitaly is done and uh, implemented this feature and a lot of others. So, and then Vitaly decided just why not to share it with the community? And uh, this is a real spirit of open source and the spirit of um, just laziness. Like... <laughs> no, it's just like optimal and uh, I know, like uh, balanced laziness. Yeah, but it's great. Thank you. We are waiting for you. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's... I will join. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Laziness is a dri driver of improvement for all the developers. That's true. Yeah, and what do you think about the next uh, idea? No, not idea, maybe a question. Sometimes, um, maybe not sometimes, but from time to time, I hear uh, the um, statement that uh, Unit PHP Storm plugin uh, in, and its integration with the IntelliJ idea is not so good for the beginners because they uh, do not uh, do things by their cells, they do things by the plugin. So what is your recommendation, Bogdan and Sergey, for the beginners? Uh, should they use uh, the integration, uh, I mean, the PHP Storm plugin, uh, or not? Well, they should start with assembler plugin. <laughs> 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 you know, for, for, for sure, for sure, is there is some framework. Yeah, uh, it's really good. Like if you personally, I if I would like to be really good developer based on some platform, I would need to know how the framework, how which libraries that I'm using is working, right? But uh, that doesn't mean that I have to write these frameworks and libraries from scratch myself, right? I can just explore and see and understand them. The same I would say for like code generation and PHP Storm plugin, if you were referring to it, that's okay if you are using like one click generations uh, until you understand what is what it, it's actually doing, right? But ho hopefully uh, sometime into the future, PHP Storm plugin will be able to implement the button, just create the project with no bugs, right? And uh, it will just hit this button and uh, don't even, we will not have the need to uh, to understand what's happening underneath. That's a perfect implementation. But uh, yeah, that nice. is. Nice, nice, thank you. This is a very important answer because uh, with, from my point of view, uh, with the help of the PHP Storm plugin, uh, you get access to the best practices. Best practices, not from the documentation, but uh, from the real code, it's very important. So guys, we have only 10 minutes left. Maybe it's a good time to start uh, the asking questions section. So uh, everyone, uh, please uh, ask questions. We're here to answer. Did you like, I, can I ask the first question? Did you like the upgrade compatibility tool? Uh, Alexander, I have seen that you raised your hand and I asked. Uh, definitely. <laughs> definitely, because for me, the tech advisor and uh, the one who covers uh, the technical uh, expertise of a company, it's very important to have something, I mean, tool, integration, uh, which, which can help me uh, uh, with analysis, because based on this data, I can decide how to move forward and what uh, we should do. So yeah, I really appreciate usage of this uh, tool. And uh, also I see the really great progress uh, you've done uh, during those years. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think it, you. It's, a, it's a great moment to ask a question to the people that we have on the call. Probably we could ask the last poll question that we had on the list. I don't know if Bogdan, can you help us to push that question? We, do we have him? Can we do it? 
maybe not. In a moment, in a moment. Okay, so great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically the idea is to get a sense from, from you guys, the one that have attended the, this great session. Um, how do you perceive this uh, PHP Storm plugin working with UCT? And if you believe that it's going to be something that will be helpful and that you will be using in the future. So that will give us uh, also information on, yeah, mm -hmm. what's your opinion? Uh, while, oh, so now the uh, poll uh, question about the upgrade computer tool and its integration plugin is accessible for everyone at this session. And uh, while you um, oh, just, just to clarify, or like we have the three questions that we were planning to ask, but the, they were planned to be asked in different times, so we couldn't, we didn't do it. So the first one was like before talking uh, before this session. It's like if you were familiar with the upgrade compatibility tool. Uh, and the second and the third one is that, yeah, moving forward about UCT and the plugin. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, no problem. I want to uh, mention several uh, things and uh, made, make maybe one announcement. So uh, the record of this uh, really good conversation uh, will be accessible soon. So we will pair it. Then we plan to release uh, an article and blog post where you will be able also to uh, read more about this integration, about people attending this um, conversation about our plans. And also, um, if you will have any kind of questions, you can send them uh, to us, I mean, to the Artwix team. Uh, you can comment. Uh, uh, video or future post and also please don't hesitate and join the um, community slack channel uh, related to the upgrade compatibility tool and php storm plugin we will we are we are happy and we will be happy to help you uh, with answers and also we are open for your ideas please uh, post uh, them and uh, we will try to work on them together or help you to understand the benefits of your ideas we're also open for any kind of communication and uh, yeah Do you plan to add the development functionality of plugin like deployment of M2 application? Uh... I guess uh, each uh, company or maybe each person uh, has uh, uh, own deployment process and uh, it is impossible for us uh, to uh, support all of the deployment ways uh, that everyone use. So I guess it is impossible <laughs> for us. There is, you know, um, I guess uh, the best way uh, is to use uh, Adobe Cloud uh, for deployment. It's my uh, personal opinion, uh, of course. Um, but uh, there are a lot of uh, patterns, maybe, I don't know, for, for deployment of Magento. And uh, uh, the best uh, pattern you can choose for your for your business for your needs and uh, for your maybe knowledge uh, of uh, everything and uh, it cannot be standardized by uh, plugin developers mm -hmm. yeah definitely agree with you Bogdan. and i want to add that uh, the plugin and uh, any kind of integration with it uh, are based on the best practices, not on the vision of uh, individuality, but uh, on the vision of the best practices and what uh, is good for now. I mean, what best practice good for now for the Magento open source Adobe Commerce. So uh, all of solutions provided uh, with the PHP Storm plugin, they are based on the best practices. And uh, I can suggest you one thing that uh, related to the deployment. So the PHP Storm by itself is a great tool full of useful things. Um, which you can use for deployments. You can configure the remote server deployment. You can create any kind of bash scripts. You can do whatever you want with this powerful tool. Also, you uh, can uh, adjust uh, even you can adjust even templates uh, which PHP Storm plugin uses uh, in uh, their way. So 
several years ago, Bogdan uh, uh, posted a really great and um, helpful answer in the UA community Slack channel about how to change, uh, for example, the data model template for the pitch, Magento Pitch Pistorm plugin integration. And uh, this is a very helpful thing for you because if you have different code styles or different, uh, uh, I just know, um, agreements on uh, development practices, you can simply configure templates and they will be used by PHP Storm plugin. Bogdan, can you maybe add something more about this? So is it easy to customize PHP Storm plugin, uh, uh, for example, controllers, models? Uh, it depends on uh, your needs. Uh, it's like uh, how can be customized controller uh, based pattern uh, it is uh, not so uh, it's not so complicated uh, part of coding so uh, yes you can add some uh, white spaces maybe uh, annotations uh, default annotations but uh, uh, yes you you can do whatever you want uh, with uh, those templates it is like uh, internal intelligent idea features uh, but uh, i don't think that it is common part of development to change something from the best practices. Maybe uh, we uh, hadn't done everything uh, by best practices. Uh, we appreciate uh, your issue, open, opening issues. Uh, maybe if you uh, will see something that um, outdated maybe, I don't know, because uh, we constantly develop uh, developing this plugin and uh, some features uh, was uh, the, some were developed uh, very long time ago. Uh, so maybe uh, there are new best practices released by uh, Adobe and uh, we really appreciate uh, your attention to this. And maybe you can help us uh, to make it even better. Yeah, and but then I want to add one thing. So in PHP Storm plugin, we even have um, functionality to uh, create an issue in the PHP Storm plugin repository. This also just optimization of the optimization. So uh, this helps us to filter out uh, newly created issues on the PHP Storm plugin repository and identify uh, Ish, duplicate issues and close them and just use only one to solve the bug. So this is the way how you, I mean, community can uh, interact with tools you use for your daily routines and how you can make uh, not only your work uh, better and easy, but how to make the whole world <laughs> uh, better from uh, better with their open source uh, ideology. Yes, and with the, it's great. <laughs> okay, we can see the poll results now. So it looks like most of the uh, most of the people present uh, have not used ECT yet, but. Uh, know what it is well after <laughs> after the talk for sure hopefully we'll try uh, try it and uh, let us know what you think about it and uh, yes seems more uh, like 65 percent of people uh, think that uct is a great tool and they are going to use it for future upgrades and uh, People say that most of the, let's say the half, half and half uh, answering the question, will you see CT within PHP Storm plugin moving forward, that they either have to try it or definitely will use it. So even to try it, you have to use it. That means 100% 100% would like to use this functionality. Well, hopefully you will be satisfied. And if not, let us know. Mm, and uh, I also wanted that this uh, poll and uh, its result motivates us to 
share more experience about the PHP Storm plugin and uh, its integration with a great compatibility tool, and also just like uh, make it more open and popular for the community and for the developers and of course for business owners because without uh, this tool for me right now it's really hard to imagine how to deliver a high quality solution for the adobe commerce uh, based projects especially we're waiting for feature when you are able to see the quality of your project from the admin it's really 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 nice Okay, guys, uh, yeah, it was really nice, cool, uh, warm, and uh, community-style conversation. Uh, I'm passing my words to uh, Bogdan and uh, at the head of this meeting, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for organizing and having us here, Alexandra yeah. and Bogdan, and thanks, everybody, who joined. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone again. Uh, thanks for joining Epic Talks number three. Uh, uh, my uh, dearest appreciation for uh, all the speakers and all the amazing topics that were discussed uh, over this uh, amazing talk. The recording will be available on Epic's YouTube channel. If you will have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at hello sorry, hello at advix.com or directly uh, Alexandra or any uh, of the speakers uh, during this call. Uh, please be sure to tune in for the future Advix talks. And uh, thanks to also the, the participants for actively participating, uh, seeing a lot of uh, questions, a lot of insights, a lot of comments and uh, active participation in the voting is really, really, really amazing. So thanks also for participating actively in these discussions. Uh, and if you have any uh, questions or maybe suggestions for future uh, ethics talks, please do not hesitate to put them in the comment section. Uh, that would be also appreciated. Uh, that's uh, all from my side. Maybe some of the speakers would like to add something. Yes, thanks to everybody for attending and thanks for you to organizing and for a great team and a collaboration with us. So thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. Th thanks, everyone. In case you would like to continue some conversations, you know where to find us. Magento Open Source Slack work Workspace, uh, direct message or upgrade compatibility tool or PHP Storm plugin channels. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all and uh, have a good evening day. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Have an amazing evening, everybody, or day. Depends uh, where in the world are you. And uh, see you on the next Advix Talks. Bye. <laughs>